Hello friends! After the numerous events that we experienced in July, August is ahead of us, another summer month that has its own dynamics and will be memorable, you will see why. However, generally we can say that August also like July will have a great tension. On the 4th of August is a new moon in Leo and on the 19th is a full moon in Aquarius. Sun is in Leo until the 22nd, then it's in Virgo. Mercury is from the 5th retrograde in Virgo. Venus is most of the month in Virgo. Mars and Jupiter are in Gemini. Saturn and Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Uranus in Taurus and Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. Of the more important aspects, let's mention for now only that Saturn and Jupiter will be in a square during the month of August. Since Jupiter and Mars will be also in conjunction, it means that Mars will also be in square with Saturn and this is very great tension that I already mentioned. Uh, to be precise, Saturn is in a square with Jupiter all month, all August, but the exact will be from the 17th to the 23rd. And Mars is in conjunction with Jupiter in Gemini for the most of the month, but it's exactly this conjunction is exact from the f uh, 14th to the 15th. So again, as in July, the middle of the month, the center of the month will be critical. Let's remember that in July we had very challenging aspects when there was an attempt to assassinate Trump. There were also several volcano erupt uh, eruptions and also some earthquake in Italy, as I heard. But if that's the result of this very devastating conjunction, one part of Trump's ear with a little bit of ketchup, most probably, and a few, few eruptions, that it's not that bad. So let's hope that other two conjunctions with the star Algol will be like this. And if it's so, thanks God for that. The conjunctions with the star Algol in July that we talked about a lot, brought the new Perseus of our age. I'm not sure how to pronounce this in English. Perseus, let's say. Namely, the star Algol was called also Gorgon Medusa. And from mythology, we learned that Perseus cut off the head of the Gorgon Medusa and used it as a weapon until he gave it to Athena who put Medusa's head on her shield and used it to defend herself in wars. This symbolism is very complex, because in the myth the female goddess Athena gets a female figure as a symbol of defense, and it is about the transformation and cultivation of ktonic power, similar to that which was in the myth of Orest, but uh, we will not go into details, you know, but it's just interesting because this chthonic uh, power now that we are fighting against is actually represented by the crazy people who rule the world and who created, for example, the scene for the Olympic Games in Paris. If you want to see how they think and what they do, you see these their rituals and you will know everything. So this is that chthonic power that was very strong. And it, now we are going to fight against it. Uh, then, of course, many people show Trump with the head of Medusa because many knew about this symbolism. And it's interesting, of course, because his head was supposed to be cut off, but now he's head, holding the head of Medusa, Medusa and he's the hero. And um, what is even more interesting, few days later, Biden given up of his candidacy. He gave up because it's easier for Democrats to accept that Trump won than for them would be to accept that Russia won, because America will definitely lose this war with Russia, or who knows why, but Biden resigned for now, and we will see how this will develop later during the year. Uh, of course, everything what they do and all these scenarios that they are making, this drama that they are creating, this is already so crazy that it's even not worth analyzing them, you know? But from the time to time we have to do that because we are dealing with astrology here. Uh, the first news about Biden giving up of his candidacy appeared before the full moon in Capricorn, which happened on the 22nd of July. 
And we said, said what is the symbolism of this full moon. We said that in our July video. So what was that? It is that the symbol is the arrow which flies and it falls down. So the symbol of this is, symbolism of this is too big ambitious, too big goals which cannot be achieved. And indeed it happened like that, not just for Biden, I think for democratic uh, party definitely and maybe even for some other members of deep state who are around them and who are like um, ruling big part of the world and making all this mess so what is further interesting is, is that K Kennedy was killed and Trump was not it seems now that he's not they wanted to kill him but they did not make it they said that there were a few attempts already if we can believe into this so but they both were against so-called deep state or they were both against the same clans and corporations who want to establish this total control over humanity so now the question is is the history changing how come that trump survived if kennedy did not and um, uh, of course, we can make many like, uh, like uh, theories about this, but it is maybe even better to wait and to see what will happen because the head of Medusa will be active, this star, for a mo more one year even, you know? So we'll see what will be. So now a new moon is going to be in Leo on the August 4th at the 12th degree. It's basically very harmonious, which is a good news for us. Similar to crabs in July, Leos now have a, have a possibility to manifest some sort of new patterns, let's say, in the, new, in the next six months. Many will occupy an important place in society now or be agile in implementing new plans and projects with, other, with others or so. So the focus is here on cooperation not to be alone but to cooperate with others then things will develop in a positive way if they are doing so furthermore it is possible that during the next six months many will realize a lock, realize their long-standing dream or acquire some award or diplomas it's very good time for leos now then the full moon will take part in Aquarius on August 19 and it will happen on the 27th degree. And that one is not harmonious. On the contrary, there is a big tense and uh, many planets like uh, do not communicate in a harmonious way on the day of the full moon. Aquarians who have planets around the 27th degree can have quite stormy August, but I mean, nothing special. <laughs> we always have such aspects. Don't worry too much. Just there is a tension. Uh, what is a good news is, news is that uh, the full moon energy actually we feel for a few days and then it dips, disappears because it's actually something that finishes that what started before, six months before, in this case, in, in February 2024. So it will be a finish of something, but quite intense one. The same day, when it's a full moon, on the 19th of August, the sun and the moon will be in square with Uranus, which is, as we know, in Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus and it's making these numerous misfortunate things. All biolaboratories discovered mainly in Ukraine, climate weapons, so-called supercell storms, aerosol, this dusting that they're sending to us, experiments with insects and similar foods all this is actually connected with uranus in taurus which is the symbol of this destruction of the bio life on the earth every full moon in aquarius is in, is in a position to the sun in leo that would mean that every august is possibly good for revolutions but they mainly make revolutions in uh, february which is also good you know uh, so now this tension can be um, can be uh, seen on the streets. This is one possibility, and it can manifest in parliaments also. So parliaments are also under the rulership of Uranus, or we see them through Aquarius sign. So we'll see about that. 
This is further directly connected with the square between Saturn and Jupiter, which Mars will intensify, as we said. And I need here some time to explain this, Saturn-Jupiter square. These two planets made their last conjunction in December 2020 on zero degree of Aquarius, and thereby mark the arrival of a new era, in which people as a mass will be more significant than before. They will take their freedom more seriously, they will create networks and live more in accord with some organic principle. Let's say it briefly like that. This is the symbolism of that new beginning for, the, for people on this planet. This would be that new age for now, you know, for these 20 years, but it will have also the similar impact will be on many, many years to come later, even centuries. Jupiter and Saturn meet every 20 years, and their meetings are marked with the great conjunction, or like, as a great conjunction. There are different great conjunctions. One is Jupiter and Saturn, and they have very big importance on the society. You know, when great conjunctions happen, things are happening in the world. I made a video about that. The name of the media is Jupiter and Saturn, Dead Kings and Pregnant Crones. Check that video if you want to see something about the symbolism. So during this 20 years, Saturn and Jupiter, in this long cycle, they meet in a different way. You know, they like have contacts, they have some aspects we say in astrology, and some are very harmonious and some are very tense. And now is going to be the very intense and very problematic one, this is the square, and the first square is the hardest aspect that they can create. So this square will be present in the year 2024 and 25. Its first exact is now in August. Uh, we said also that this first square occurs around the full moon, which is on Aquarius and Leo axis, which means many conflicts, many conflicts between the rulers and people. And conflicts can be in a different ways visible. The conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter is happening in air, was happening in air sign, and this predicts changes in social and political system. Speaks of a crisis of the system, and the, it is also the announcement of the new one that is slowly being created. We often say that the old system is collapsing but should be actually repeated that it's not real collapse but it's more transformation so this is what we are going through as a whole world could be much worse but it's actually designed in a way I, we don't know who designed it but it is designed in a way that actually the collapse does not really occur it is more like something is dying and something new is born and in a few years it will be completely different world and societies and so on monetary policy and so on. So it's better to speak about transformation than about collapse. But I use both words. No, we even recently saw that the International Court of Justice declared that Israel illegally occupied Palestine, which until recently was completely impossible to see or to hear. So big revealing is ahead of us and it already started actually. But, uh, because now we have square between Saturn and Uranus, Saturn and Jupiter, it means that something is problem here in this process of transformation. It is not that everything goes smoothly. On the contrary, you know, this is the trouble moment. Everything is even more interesting because this square between Gemini and Pisces is occurring uh, in the signs that, are, uh, that, that have meaning of healing and media. Pisces is healing, Gemini is media. It could happen that someone is preventing the truth from appearing regarding the jabs that they were giving to people, what happened in 2020 and 21, when this great conjunction actually happened. We are now entering the period of revision of those events, and this will last until July 2025. 
Now even Pluto is at zero degree of Aquarius, which is the exact degree where the great conjun conjunction had happened in 2020. So it is definitely the time for people to wake up and to see what was happening to them in 2020-21. The Euro European Parliament has been dealing with these issues for a long time already and von der Le L, this lady there, has been accused of fraud and corruption in connection with the jobs, but still she is proudly sitting in her chair pretending that everything is uh, okay with her. And she always had this very characteristic cynicism on her face, like nothing can happen. but. It can happen, and that will be already in 24, 25. Um, many things will be discovered that were happening with us, let's say, in that time of the lockdowns. Let's mention that Robert Kennedy publicly announced all the frauds relating to BioVipen, the jobs, but they did not have a big impact on the world, you know. He did a great job with his foundation, but there are not many people who know about this. So why? Because the current state of the world is such that people and life on this planet is blocked by the media. All this means that many secrets and frauds are revealed, but the world will not accept them and they will not become part of the official knowledge until there is a turning point in the war that is happening. And when the winners start writing the history, then many things will be discovered, of course. But still, still, I think that important important truths will come out in 24 and 25. Further revision, we say this is the month of revision because of this square. So further revision may concern Biden's presidency. Namely, he was elected to the presidency at the time of the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter at the end of 2020. <laughs> in August and December of this year, 2024, and also June, next year, uh, the consequences of his fraud elections can appear in public. We will see how. The square says that it will not be a simple process. Saturn and Neptune are in Pisces, they are both retrograde, and they are masters of manipulation, confusion and deception. So it reminds for us to see how that will look like. In individual horoscopes, the square of Saturn and Jupiter will affect especially people who have planets in the second decade of Pisces and Gemini. It will also affect Sagittarius and Capricorn. Of course, it will affect all of us in a certain era of life. We will be limited and at the same time we will grow through limitations. Uh, let's say we will also be in conflict with desires and reality. Our optimism will be tested and so on and so on. Here I have for you some questions, few questions. That will help you to navigate this energy, which is energy of li limitations, you know, eventually of some disappointments maybe. Those who are able to balance between hope for success and doubt will have the most of this aspect. So, the questions that can inspire you to think of this are those. In what era of life did you have doubts about success that you can't get rid of? Are you missing results for your efforts? If yes, in which era of your life? What caused the loss of optimism? Do you lack information to defend your views? If you lack some information, find them. Are you ready to move on even, uh, even if there are some obstacles? To move on if, even if there are some obstacles? And in, even if now your situation seems, seems unsolvable. If you say yes, that's very good. Because this is temporary problem. 
So think of this, you know, maybe you will not have any answer of these questions at the beginning of August, but maybe later on in the middle of the month, maybe this will give you more sense. By the way, in August, Gemini will be very active and the obstacles mentioned here will irritate them a lot. Let's hope that they will find constructive solutions for everything. This is also a very challenging period for Pisces, especially Pisces of the second decay, because they already have Saturn in their sign and they don't need more obstacles. And I would say that Pisces should take care of their health a lot. Why? Because Saturn in their sign uh, actually um, does not increase the vitality, opposite to that, you know, makes them tired and maybe even exhausted from the time to time. So now it's very important to take care of the health. Uh, Leos, of course, are the stars in, in, of the zodiac in this month and I wish them happy birthdays. We mentioned them already. Uh, in the time when Leos have a birthday, it, um, it's, uh, the sun is in Leo and sun is the ruler of Leo and it's the symbol of the self that we write with big S in Jungian psychology. And that self is actually the same, has the same symbolism in astrology as love, creativity, generosity, art and children, which makes, means everything that makes us happy. It teaches us to be who we are and not to uh, nurture only other people's needs, but to nurture our needs also. To ba make balance between, uh, between our personal uh, not just needs but visions of life with other people's visions of life you know we saw how that looked like in the year 2020 and 21 when actually uh, all our individual needs had to be suppressed and they said to us because this is for the good of the collective and this is uh, this was very bad attitude towards that disease because we should all, in any time, we should live in accord to that, that we satisfy our own needs and we respect the needs of the collective where we live in. This is something that we will learn in many centuries ahead of us. Let's also mention that Mercury is retrograde in Virgo now from the August the 5th to the 29th. But it's, it's not the end at the 29th of August because Mercury goes out of its shadow only on the 12th of September. Uh, this Mercury, retrograde Mercury in Virgo, can be very demanding because it gets totally lost in the details. It brings nervousness and um, makes troubles without need you know people see problem everywhere with this neptune with this mercury they're checking everything 10 times they're simply completely lost in details and they have doubts about everything so uh, this is of course tiring and we could say even it's not necessarily to behave in that way but we have it from the time to time and we, maybe it's even useful for something for example, on the collective level, this Mercury can be very useful if we say this is the time for revisions. He's very good in revisions, you know. He can, every detail he can study about manipulators and political liars and about the fraud diseases and everything, you know. He's able to analyze that and to uh, see what, what, what was real, what was not, you know, in that time. And of course, it can be also useful for every one of us if we want to critically examine one specific era of our life. So for Aries, this is the era of life of daily routine. They should check how they behave on a daily level. Taurus people with this should analyze their creativity, self-realization and the relationship with children. But be careful, not, don't, don't be lost there <laughs> in details. Gemini people will with this analyze their emotional needs, maybe relationship with mother, family or something. Crabs, Cancer, will change the way of communication with people. Be careful not to be too fast. Leo people analyze their possessions and investments. 
but it is definitely not the time to invest, just to analyze. Virgo questioned their identity. They're asking themselves, who am I? What am I doing? Shall I do it like this, you know? Does this making sense for me and so? I can say now also that Virgo people should not rush in August because anyway, they will not arrive to the, to the place on time. They should give themselves time. Libra people with this are going through some spiritual cleansing. It could be good for them to be alone for some time. Sagittarius people, they're solving status and success among others, solving future ambitions. Capricorn are thinking of that. What is, what is the meaning of their existence? What shall they do? Maybe they will need to travel, but it's not a good time to travel. So more stay home and analyze. Aquarius uh, people have psychological and emotional time, very deep one. It's a good time to heal traumas there. And Pisces, they're analyzing their partnership and relationships generally and uh, learning to behave with people in a slightly different way, you know, not to bother them with too many details. And that's, may that's maybe the most important things that I wanted to say. I did not say all, but some of them wish you very happy and joyful time in august and see you soon that's all for now if you wish you can order personal consultations with me based on astro psychology spiritual astrology or based on the method that i call the change of the code the change of the perception which help, enables us to work with our subconscious programs if you like the video like it share it and sign to my channel and thank you very much for that in advance i wish you joyful august days